All right, this is going to be a video for any of you guys getting this error message right here, USB device not recognized. You can see when I close it, it pops right back up. If I had my sound on, you'd be getting the Windows default error message beeping sound, very annoying. Every time I close it, it continues popping back up. Now there's a lot of videos on YouTube telling you how to basically stop the error message from coming up. And really all that's doing is just kind of stopping the message, um, but not fixing the actual root of the problem. So a lot of the YouTube videos, they tell you start menu, control panel. Keep in mind, I did call Dell and uh, they basically did the same thing. All the forums, all the YouTube videos are telling you to do. Now, what that tells you to do, open up device manager, center it. You're going to scroll down. You want to open up well, it's already open. You want to open up and expand the bus controller. And you can see right here is where the error, the issue is, uh, right where the arrow is. Sometimes you'll have a little yellow hourglass, you'll have a yellow traffic cone, you'll have something telling you where the problem is. Now, all the YouTube videos tell you to do is just right click it, either uninstall it, open up properties, you can try it updating the driver you could try uninstalling it but honestly I've been through there I called Dell they did the same thing uh, they thought the problem was fixed sure enough next day error message pops back up so basically all the YouTube videos are telling you to do is either disable it um, you could go as far as actually right clicking USB root hub properties and going to power management now you could see I have this checked, allow the computer to turn off the device to save power. Now once again, all these things are doing is just getting the error message not to pop up. It's not fixing the root of the problem and that's kind of why my video is going to be different. It's going to actually tell you how to solve the problem rather than just, you know, stopping the error message because you know that it's still there, it's still going to be swelling down your computer and in the back of your mind you know that it's it's there and with me I don't want a problem with my computer same thing with a car it's just like pulling your you know it's like having a check engine light and just pulling the light you know you're not really fixing anything although you don't see that little annoying check engine light the problem is still there alright so everyone on YouTube all they're doing they're just finding the issue they're either disabling it they're trying to update the driver which doesn't work they are going to the power management doing it there none of that stuff works all right, so I'm going to get back on camera. I'm going to show you how to go about fixing it. The steps that I found out that Dell couldn't fix, uh, one of my friends couldn't fix it. All the forums, all the YouTube videos, just showing you how to turn it off, not really how to fix it. All right, so what we spoke about before, USB device not recognized. Um, it's how to fix it, not just stop the error message from coming up, how to fix it. Keep in mind, this is a Windows PC. It's not a Mac. So what I did is get yourself a little USB flash drive, something like this. Little, anything that goes into the USB, it can be a GoPro, plug in your GoPro, anything that's going to come up on the computer. So let's see the computer. You get your little flash drive and you start plugging it into ports. Right now I'm going to plug it into the front ports on the computer, see what happens. Plugged it in here. All right. Same thing, go to your device manager, expand it right down here, and see if you get the error message. Basically what you're going to do, process of elimination, take your USB port and continue, plug it in the back. I have some ports in the back. Now, rather than wasting time on film, what I did, I started with the back. Basically I unplugged every single USB device that was in the computer. With every device unplugged, I was still getting a message, so what does that tell you? That tells you it's not your keyboard, your mouse, your, your monitor, your wireless things. Anything that's plugged in, it's not that. So it wasn't my keyboard, wasn't my mouse, wasn't any of that stuff. So I moved to the front. I only have, this is a Dell part, whereas this is aftermarket. This is a card reader. I took my USB drive, my little stick, I plugged it in here. I didn't get an error message, but with everything unplugged, Everything needs to be unplugged. If you need to get yourself a keyboard that is not USB, do that. All right, so what I did, I plugged it in this port and it worked. Plugged it in this port, it worked. As soon as I plugged it in here, this port wasn't working. 
So that told me that maybe the issue's here. So next thing I wanna do is I wanna unplug this. I already unscrewed it. I found these wires. Let's see if you can get in here. I'll do it. Ready? Go into the computer. Don't just start yanking things. All right. Let's put the flashlight. Now, better to do it unplugged, but uh, it's okay. I know what I'm doing. So, what I did is I unplugged it. Here's the wires. Pull on the wire. See which one. Don't just start yanking things out. All right. So, it's the blue one. Unplug it. And let's see the other one. Okay, it's that one right there. So, I unplugged it. Okay. Okay, this is what I'm left with. This is a Dell part right here. Could be a Toshiba, could be whatever. It doesn't have to be Dell, but what I did is I remember process of elimination. Now, back up to the computer. Notice that little USB, that little error message disappeared now. And where's my little error message? It's gone. So what I did is I just process of elimination, go back to your computer, unplug all the USB devices. This right here, notice this has a USB. This is aftermarket, I forget who makes this, but um, it wasn't the issue, thank God, because this is expensive. Um, back of the computer, there's some more ports back there somewhere. Um, I didn't have to go there. I didn't need to mess with that. I unplugged everything and I was still getting an error message. So it led me to believe that this was it. I unplugged it, restarted the computer and no more error message. All right. So that's something you can do rather than just hiding it, rather than just hiding that error message, you're not solving the problem. So uh, that's it. That's I'm happy. So now I'm just going to go on eBay or search the forum, search somewhere, Amazon and uh, get this because uh, it actually is convenient for me on the front of the computer. All right, so just know, have some faith, have some confidence. I really have no skill whatsoever with computers, but um, just about using your head, using your mind, doing some research online, and you can do it yourself and save a lot of money. You know if you bring it to Geek Squad or Best Buy, you know what they're going to tell you. Oh, it's your motherboard, you know, you need this. After they just searched all your pictures and, you know, go through your Facebook, you know, you'll be hit with a $200 bill, so... I'm happy you do it yourself and that's it.